Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Raygun and today I'm going to talk about Xur and his location for the very first week on PC and it's a couple of weeks in for consoles as we know but this week he is on IO and you'll notice he is over here in the Giant Scar and the quickest landing zone is the actual Giant Scar landing zone so you just go there, you launch and then when you hit the planet you just, you know, get on your sparrow and you go straight towards him so something you'll notice straight away is that Zuri is selling the Darcy Exotic Sniper Rifle, which costs 29 Legendary Shards. It has a magazine capacity of 6 and 140 RPM, just like you'll see in this very nice infographic designed by someone called Nick Regis. And then of course you can see the list of perks and the stats for each gun here as well on a weekly basis. So as you see, it's got Personal Assistant, which aim at an enemy to view its health and other critical information in the scope. Extended Barrel, so it increases your range and decreases handling speed you've got extended mags on it so it has increases range and decreases handling speed and you've got target acquired so when personal assistance is active this weapon has better target acquisition and deals more precision damage and you've got the short action stock as well so it's easier to grip which increases handling speed then for the hunters this week we have the knucklehead radar which costs 23 strange not strange flipping legendary shards it has one mobility two resilience and zero recovery and it also has a plus one resilience uh, mod which adds five item level to the actual uh, item as well so it's 265 plus five so it's 270 in total and the upgraded center pack which provides radars while aiming that's very nice to have on guns um, that you don't have a radar for for example the minor multi-tool you do have a radar whereas most of the other ones you do not so this is very nice to have for that it also has plasteel reinforcement mod so it increases your resilience and then you can also choose restorative mod which increases health recovery then of course you've also got the Warlock Helmet this week, which is Eye of Another World, which also costs 23 Legendary Shards. It gives you 1 Mobility, 0 Resilience, and 2 Recovery, and it adds a plus 1 Resilience mod that also has the 265 and then plus 5 onto that as well, so it's 270. And it's got the Cerebral Uplink perk, which highlights priority targets and improves the regenerative speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. And you've got Mobility Enhancement mod, which increases mobility, and Restorative mod, which increases health recovery as well. Moving on to the Titan piece of armor here, we have the Actium War Rig, which also costs 23 legendary shards. It gives you one mobility, two resilience, and one recovery, and has the power munition mod on it, which improves reload speed for equipped power weapons. And then you have the auto loading link, which steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifles magazines from your reserves. And then you have the plus steel reinforcement mod, which increases your resilience, and the restorative mod, which increases health recovery. And those are the exotics as we I don't think many PC players are going to get this. Of course, if you put a lot of time in, though, because a lot of people get excited about games, you're going to get enough to buy whatever you like from Zer this week. Um, but some other players who are casual players will not, unfortunately. But next week, the raid is coming out, so that will be something exciting to have a look at. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And if you do like it, click like below and subscribe to keep up to date with my content. And I'll see you again in the future. Remember, my name is Regan. Peace.